Hello, my friends! So, we just had a riot on our hands and some girl got shot. Probably because she was screeching and wouldn't shut up. So, what are we going to tell the actual people who are supposed to be in charge of this place about what happened? And don't try to bullshit it, guys. He did not order a public execution. Seriously, you all were there. Y you can't even make me making this shit up about rumors you might have heard. Hey, 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 where's your cinnamon roll? Where is he? No, it's kind of half my fault. Like, you asked for my help and I kind of failed. He did not order her actually shot. He just said, do something. Oh my god, you guys committed suicide over this? Like, what the fuck? Can, can she can she actually but well besides the whole riot thing but she can she actually be charged with a crime she she did kind of roofie me I mean like I'm pretty much almost single-handedly trying to keep the horde out for you like I totally did before Nidhogg would have come in and raised this place to the fucking ground already well for the most part if I had not you know made friends with the queen of heretics you know tried to talk to his brother and then outright killed them yeah yeah If there's anyone who should be blamed for all this, it's me. Are you not hooked up on a link pearl with him? I mean, Astinian was. He's not the one who shot her. Dangrit? No, he's clearly worried, okay? Jesus, don't give me that fucking shrug. Well, instead of searching around, well, I know exactly where he is, so... Little buddy, are you okay? Oh, no, what? No, no! What have they done to you? Onowa! Onowa! Is that you, my lord? You... You seem rather flustered. Gee, I wonder why! Because of you, you imbecile! What in the seven hells happened to you? Well, 
Dude, it's like covered in dirt. Oh my, my god. My apologies. Some few of the guests expressed a wish to leave, and I implored them to stay. It would seem they took issue with my request. What kind of assholes beats the crap out of a child? Or trample him or something? Jesus Christ, what is wrong with everybody? Gods forgive me. If I had only been more careful with my words. Well, all you said was do something. I mean, yeah, you could have been a little bit more specific, but... Do, do not blame yourself, my lord. I know. I know that you and your brother have Ishgard's best interests at heart. That poor woman. She lives in the past, clinging to the memories of the lost. But the future holds so much promise, so much joy. And you, you know that better than any. Somebody get a medic! Medic! Let's take him inside Calm at yourself. least. The boy will live. But it's imperative we get him inside and into the care of a Kyrujan without delay. Oh, good, Thinker. Why don't you take care of that? Oh, we were so close! Why does it all have to fall to pieces? Don't they want to live in peace? Don't they want to be happy? We all want the same thing! And still, still, it falls to pieces! Tell me, what, what was I supposed to do? Hm? Someone, anyone, tell me, what was I supposed to do? Keep this in mind. Oh lord. Keep this in mind. No, 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 no. Stopping you right the fuck there. Stop looking to others. You make your choice, and you live with the consequences. That was precisely the wrong thing to say to him, Thancred. And what would you know about consequences? You who always know just what to say and just what to do. Your every deed is greeted with a round of applause. Uh, Thancred? He's got a point there. He's got a point. Oh, come on! Dude, calm the fuck down, everybody! Everybody! You know nothing about me. I have fought tooth and nail for the people I hold dear. Done everything in my power to save them. And I have failed. Learn to live with it. I have. Uh, no, clearly you haven't. Because it is written all over your face how pissed and upset you are, legitimately so, about what happened to Minfilia. No, dude, you are not dealing with it. Do not lie to his face. Dude, you just left a fucking child instead of actually taking him with you back to the city proper, all right? What the fuck is wrong with you, Thancred, all right? If you're at least you're gonna storm off, make sure the person who actually needs some medical attention right now, and a nice warm bed and probably some cocoa when he wakes up, actually get that. Now, now I know for the next several segments of this quest line, I, I am going to sound um, very angry and very bitchy. And let me tell you, this whole plot line, when I first played it, legitimately made me angry. Very legitimately. Okay, a slap in the face would have done. You didn't have to knock him flat on his ass and then storm off like a child and leave an actual child who needs medical attention just laying there. Oh, yeah, you know, you know? Maybe I should go into some of this right now. Yeah. It does nobody good to relive your mistakes. However, however, it is one thing to realize you have made a mistake. But 
if you are not corrected about that mistake in what you should have done and how you can avoid making that mistake again in the future, you risk making a different, possibly worse mistake. You don't learn from a mistake unless you actually know what you should have done instead. And sometimes, sometimes, yeah, so there is no easy answer to that. Sometimes there is no right answer. But unless you understand what you did wrong, why it was wrong, and what would have been a better way, better way to handle it, you're not going to learn everything. He had a legitimate question here. What should I have done? And nobody answers them. Maybe the best thing to do would have just been to let her scream and shout and just let the whole situation play out until it, until something else happened and it escalated further. I don't know. I don't know. But if you're going to play the bigger person, and this means to the Warrior of Light too. This is not just Thancred. We should not have punched him, threatened to punch him in the face. Yeah, but if we're not going to educate him on what we would have done in that situation, considering he does have a point that, yeah, we're the fucking scions of the Seventh Dawn. Pretty much everybody sings their praises to us when they know what we've done of good deeds. What consequences have we fucking suffered? Oh, wait, other than the self-sacrifices we made that we didn't actually need to, that were nobody's fault but our own. But other than that, what other consequences have we faced for our actions? Absolutely none. None. Like, we're like the heroes and the saviors of the world. Of course people are going to look up to us. Of course people like him are going to ask, what would you do? What would you have done instead? And until he actually understands and learns that, like, what the fuck is he supposed to do? If we're going to, like, j honestly just sit here, okay, and know he fucked up, but not correct him and, and help educate him on his fuck-ups, are we any better than him? And the answer is, no, we are fucking not. If you, and, and this applies to real life too, if you knowingly know somebody is making mistakes and messing up, and you do not take any course to actually correct that action, then you are part of the problem. And yeah, you can make the argument, well, it's not my responsibility to fix everyone's mistakes for them, which, to be fair, there is an actual bit of truth to that. However, if you are willingly going to just sit there and just fall back and be like, nah, 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 you know, fingers in your ears, not my responsibility, you have now absolved yourself of the ability to complain about it. Okay? Takes a village, people. You're going to sit back and be lazy about this whole thing. Then you have no one to blame but yourself when you are part of the consequences of, that, of those, of those fuck-ups. Now, to be, to be a tiny bit fair here, to be a tiny bit fair here, yes, he was hysterical. Yes, he's a bit immature. Yes, he probably did need a smack in the face just to shut him up. All right, I am not going to disagree with that one little bit. But the way we handled it was no better. Well, let's tell Sir Emmerich what happened and also fill in the fact that, um, Thancred just beat the shit out of one of the members of the High Houses. Hello? Oh, you don't know the half of it, sir. Yeah, everyone is exaggerating because all he said was do something. He did not say shoot her. Although he probably meant, meant, you know, just fire a warning shot or something. He did not say shoot her, kill her. Like the first shot should have been enough, okay? He didn't say anything else after that being like, well, shoot her again or what did you do? Like nothing. He like it nothing you you can put blame on him for the first shot okay you can do that i will i will meet you in the middle on there but the second one the one that nearly possibly killed her yeah that wasn't his fault at all sorry guard you can't play ignorance on this i just did as you ordered no that's not what you were fucking ordered
Yeah. I mean, after a thousand, it'd be a little tiny bit fair here. After about a thousand years, all they, all they know is war. Oh? Oh yeah, beating the shit out of each other. Oh, we're gonna settle this the oldest guardian way, huh? Um, didn't you have plans to retire? Isn't your son number one in charge now? Are, are it, I know you're the dad and all, but are, is it right for you to be giving this order? Yeah, I'm with Amaric on this. I mean, y'all got into this mess by thrusting a responsibility on him that he she was not equipped to handle. And yet, I see that you are absolving yourself of that responsibility at every turn, even though everybody in town knows he's just, you know, a lazy gossip, you know. Yeah, maybe we should take this into account as well. I mean, as much as I wanted to punch that other guy who was like, yeah, I'll not be taken in by their lofty promises again. Yeah, he did kind of have a point that who the fuck thought it was a good idea to put M in charge? No, really. Um, 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 Lucia is right here. Uh, no, maybe you should go into the office and talk to your boss. I'm sure that is a little bit more important. You know, deliver him the missive in, per in, in person what was going on. Like, he literally just sent me out to go tell you what to do. And you're literally sitting outside here. Uh, I don't think the game actually really thought about that. Like, I like how she, she does, like, lampshade. Like, oh, well, I literally just got here and just walked in the door. But it seems kind of pointless to have a line. Yeah, I'm with my friends. Uh, to, uh, to be like, yeah, go go tell her my go go tell her of this. And not only do we not tell her of this, but she's literally sitting right outside. A little bit of wasted dialogue space there, but whatever. <sighs> oh, see, now we get to speak with Lucia, huh? Hi, Lucia, your boss wants to talk to you. I know you just talked to you 30 seconds ago, but... Yes, if you just but arrived, you probably would have seen me saunter my ass out of his office. Oh, Thankard's got that all taken care of. Uh, um, yeah. He wasn't doing it to be considerate with us. He, he, he went to go be a flirty pants. I, I know you're not really aware of his, uh, his demeanor, Lucia, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, where is my panda? I think, or did she shut you down? Um, I did. Dude, we're not trying to kill each other. It's just a little bar brawl. We'll be fine. Uh, 
Um, well, who said he was even back in town in the first place? Hello. Yeah, I'm just talking to her because it's obviously convenient, but uh, sh she has uh, several lines of dialogue in between various patches, and I won't probably waste time going back and forth to talk to her a bunch of times, like I do with a bunch of other people. But she she apparently does not know Vidofner's name, nobody has ever educated her on that. But it does become her dream to ride on Vidofner's back beneath the starry sky, all that lovely smarm. So I think that's kind of adorable. Hi. Are you doing okay? I'm sorry Thankward just tried to beat the shit out of you. I'm, I'm kind of on your side here. Kind of. You're still fucking load. But... Good for you, M. Now I've waited till I saw that line of dialogue. I'm just gonna walk back to the congregation to give me time to speak. I was waiting for that. And another reason why I am kind of absolving him of a lot of the, the blame that's been placed upon him by various characters is that what he speaks of is true, okay? Ishgard is a society where, among at least the High Houses and the Highborn, the first son inherits everything. Everything, okay? So not only does he lose out on everything by virtue of, well, he's the youngest, but even his bastard older brother is beloved by everybody in Camp Dragonhead. Alright, and is also dead now and died a freaking hero. What does he have to his name? Absolutely nothing. From the moment he was born, besides being, you know, born to the High House and, you know, all the, 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 the minor expectations that come with it. He's right, his destiny was set out the moment he was born and it was to be literally pretty much nothing. So, eventually, nothing is what you become because no one ever expects anything to you. Why? Well, why would they? I mean, you're not standing to inherit anything. You're not the important one in the house. And, obviously, it's, play, it's played a very profound effect on him. And, lest anybody actually try to refute me on this, anybody who's done the Astrologian quest would be aware that Jeanne Equinard has this same exact problem to the point where he blatantly spells this out to you being the second or third or anything son of one of the high houses is not an easy position to be in and you can see it yourself all they're doing is oh do this do that do this do that and anytime he makes a mistake prior to now they all just sweep it under the fucking rug hello how is he supposed to learn anything like that how what what per what reason does he have to better himself other than for the reason of just well bettering yourself you know and things like that do take time and effort and that's not to say people who should be lazy and be like well i'm never gonna amount to anything might as well not even try but it's also a very easy trap to find yourself in when you end up becoming complacent in something no matter how horrible that complacency is it is very hard to dig yourself out of that hole 
see anything, see, no, see addiction, for instance, to literally anything. And also people with various mental illnesses, you know, depression, anxiety. The mind is a very powerful tool. And one thing that is very powerful at convincing itself is about change. It has a very distinct aversion to actually changing the status quo. As much as you might want to, it pretty much forces itself or tries to force itself into a lot of, you know, confirmation bias and a bit of an echo chamber. And and this is, and it, you just look around you in the world today and yeah, I mean, you have things like, you know, like I'm just throwing it out there, like anti-vaxxers. You know, once you have information that agrees with your hypothesis or whatever, you don't want to disagree with it. No matter what other information is being thrown at you to try to prove you false, your brain is just going to try to, you know, do mental gymnastics, work your way around it to try to prove what you believe is true and it really doesn't like being proven wrong. And again, going back to the whole mental illness thing and... I'm not going to get into the whole medical system now or, 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 or anything of that kind, but, and I've experienced this myself, it is really hard to dig yourself out of that hole because if it's one thing that's really fucked up is, while misery is horrible, it's also very comforting. And I know I've just spewed a lot of hoo-ha in, in the past minute or so, but that's pretty much kind of the trap he has fucking dug himself into and nobody is helping him dig it out dig out of it and again i brought up this point last time as well ah well nobody else is responsible for his choices la 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 but yeah again if you just sit here and knowingly let somebody become a train wreck and do nothing about it fine go ahead and do that but then you've absolved yourself of any right to complain about it All right, you ready, dude? Lord Commander, if I may, I wish to speak with you before the Grand Melee. Proceed. Uh, can I kind of do this without Dad in the office, please? How do you do it, my lord? How do you lead with such certainty when so many of our countrymen will not hear of peace with the Dravanians? Some of them hate you almost as much as the dragons themselves. They decry you as a patricide in the streets. They even tried to kill you for God's sakes. Yet still you march on undaunted where no archbishop dared to tread. What is your secret? Where do you find the strength? Those are very good questions. Now, please, Sir Emmerich, actually answer him. Educate him. Fill him in. Fill that gap in which he is missing to allow him to become a better person. For centuries, our nation has been punished for the sins of our forefathers. If our punishment is to end, I believe we must right the wrongs of antiquity and move forward as a nation united. Needless to say, my father did not share this opinion. He did not believe the people strong enough to bring about their own deliverance, trusting only in himself. Tyranny seemed to him the only solution. But I have faith in the people, Lord Amanalain. I have faith that they will weather this storm and overcome every trial we set before them. Many have fought and died to see this blight upon our nation's history cleansed, and I would not let their sacrifices be in vain. Though we invite reprisals, the risk is worth the reward. I want to believe. I do. Lord Commander, through my careless orders, a pall has been cast over these proceedings, and I beg the opportunity to make amends. I, Amanalain de Forton, do hereby request leave to take part in the Grand Melee. 
Oh, I'm proud of you right now. Thank right No, thank her. Fuck you. Fuck you right now. Who am I to deny such a heartfelt plea? We would be honored to have you join the fray, my lord. You will take charge of the Ishgardian forces. For all my other responsibilities, I am still Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, and I would not soon yield this duty to another. The esteemed Sir Emmerich leading the Temple Knights and the Watch into battle along with my youngest. I could wish for no more. Then you wish for too little, my lord. There is another who might yet join the fray. An indispensable ally to whom we owe much and more. An adventurer beholden to none who nevertheless chose to champion our cause, who has shared in our suffering and in our glory. A warrior without equal, who I am privileged to call a friend. There is no one I would rather have fighting by my side. I ask this in full knowledge of your obligations and will not think less of you should you refuse. But if your conscience will allow it, might you oblige me, my friend? One more time. Well, you asked nicely and no one else has claimed dibs. Nothing else is going on. No one actually called me. No smart about a primal threat. Nothing. Nothing. Fuck yeah, I'm in. <sighs> Together we shall give the people a spectacle for the ages. A celebration to mark the dawning of a new era. You know, may maybe this would do well to, uh, to heighten M spirits a bit, you know, fighting by my side. You know, seeing us... What? Well, good to know who you're shipping. All right. Thank right, thank right. All right, thank right, buddy. You are quite the skilled man. But, but do, do, do you really think you stand a chance against me? I'm sorry, sorry. No offense, no offense. But I, I am kind of the warrior of light. All right, nothing personal, bro. Nothing personal. But if you want the opportunity to try to kick my ass and fail horribly at it, well, I will gladly take you up on that offer. I owe you to the punch in the face as well. So that's going to be it for this episode. And hopefully next time we'll get into the grand melee and yeah, start kicking some ass and beating up a bunch of people and I'll be all in good fun. Maybe afterwards we'll get some squirt guns and, you know, actually fight each other instead of start. No, no, no. Paintball fight. Paintball fight. Let's have that. That would be awesome. But thank you for watching, friends, and I shall see you then.